Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lieutenant Commander Rob Wyman, the Chief of the Joint Information Center here at the Unified Area Command. Thank you for attending today's press conference. With us today is Secretary Ken Salazar, S-A-L-A-Z-A-R, Department of Interior. Rear Admiral Mary Landry, L-A-N-D-R-Y, the Federal On-Scene Coordinator. And Mr. Doug Suttles, S-U-T-T-L-E-S, BP's Chief Operating Officer. We'll begin today with opening remarks, followed by questions from members in the audience. Following that, we will open up the phone lines for questions from them with time permitting. Today, folks, we have approximately 25 minutes due to schedule constraints. At this time, I'd like to review the ground rules for our press conference. If you could please either silence or turn off your phones. Please raise your hand and wait to be called upon. We'll bring you a microphone as we are recording the audio for this press conference. Please provide your name and affiliation before asking your question, and please limit it to one question per person due to the time constraints. If time permits, we'll come back around for follow-ups after questions have been answered. And following the briefing here, we will have representatives who stay behind to help you if you have any additional questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I am here in uh, Robert, Louisiana today uh, because I wanted to make a statement that the President has directed uh, me to make to everybody who's involved in this effort, and that is that uh, we shall not rest. Uh, we shall not take a day off until we get this problem resolved. Uh, we have been on this problem uh, now uh, going on 25 days. Uh, there, there, there are many different uh, fronts on this battle. Uh, we are fighting them on all fronts. and. Uh, we are resolute in our effort to do everything we can to bring this problem under control. Uh, tomorrow in the afternoon uh, at the, with Secretary Chu, we will essentially be pulling together the best of scientists once again uh, to take a look at the different options that are on the table to kill this well. Uh, Secretary Chu's leadership along with the Department of Energy Labs and the United States Geological Survey uh, all of whom have been essentially focused on this issue uh, with the command center in Houston, gives us hope uh, that we will be able to make sure that whatever option is chosen to finally kill this well uh, will in fact work. Uh, so we're looking forward to having that done tomorrow. Today I was uh, in, uh, in, in Louisiana at the Fort Jackson Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Uh, I was there because I wanted to see uh, what is happening uh, to with respect to wildlife uh, resources. Uh, the Department of Interior has uh, 33 wildlife refuges along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. We have seven uh, national parks units uh, along the Gulf. And we have a responsibility as the United States Fish and Wildlife Service uh, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to protect uh, the valuable ecological resources of the Gulf Coast. Uh, we will continue to do everything that we can, uh, throwing uh, every ounce of effort that we have at the Department of Interior uh, to deal with this issue. Uh, it has been uh, for us as a uh, team of, uh, of a federal family uh, a an effort uh, which has been relentless from day one. And we are very uh, proud of the fact that uh, Secretary Napolitano and Admiral Allen and Admiral Landry and so many of the federal family have come together to deal with uh, this uh, disaster, which is uh, creating uh, huge problems for uh, everybody who uh, lives here in the Gulf Coast. Uh, we feel the pain. Uh, we are frustrated. And uh, we want to make sure that at the end of the day that no stone is uh, left unturned relative to the effort that is concentrated on, on this matter. Uh, Admiral Landry. Thank you, Secretary Salazar, and certainly on behalf of everyone at this command post, we thank you for your leadership and the leadership of the President, all the members of the Cabinet, the, and, and Admiral Allen. We have felt the support since day one, and we've, we've had our six, we call it, and we thank you for the leadership and the hard work that's going on at the national level. We also know there's tremendous amount of work going on here in the Gulf Coast region from here on down right to the communities that are on the front lines, the communities that are affected. And, the leadership of the governors of these Gulf Coast states along with their staffs or people and then the everybody that's out there in the community fighting this every day. It, it's been a real team effort and we appreciate everybody's attention to this. We continue to, ch to be challenged and, and we've had good weather. Thankfully, we've had weather that's allowed this to uh, be fought offshore. You know, securing the source is one thing I know uh, uh, Secretary Salas and others are very focused on supporting and securing the source. But as we fight this offshore, 
we certainly know that we've, we've had good success till now. We've had minimal impact to the shoreline. We've had minimal impact to wildlife uh, and to beaches and that. But we also know there's, there are fishermen that are out of work right now. So as we fight this offshore, our commitment is to try to mitigate the environmental and economic impact that's felt uh, in this Gulf Coast region. We did employ uh, subsea dispersants. We began employing subsea dispersants as another tool in the toolkit. And in doing that, we want to thank everyone uh, for their efforts in analyzing the three tests that we did prior to this decision. And also, I just want to assure everyone that we didn't cross this threshold lightly to employ this tool. This is a tool that will be analyzed and monitored. There's a very strict monitoring protocol in place offshore right now as we employ this tool. And we have other tools as well. Uh, obviously, uh, controlled burn, skimming on the surface, uh, work like that is ongoing. But the weather sometimes challenges us, and we need to be flexible in how we apply these tools. Uh, I want to thank especially the uh, uh, administrator of EPA, Lisa Jackson, and the head of NOAA, Dr. Lubchenko, who engaged the scientific community before we crossed this threshold in, this, in use of subsea dispersants. They had a wonderful dialogue uh, and made themselves available so that we could allay concerns that, that this is something we didn't step into lightly. So I appreciate their leadership in that. Uh, I also want to mention uh, the fisheries service, both NOAA and uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, other fisheries communities. The, the, the National Fisheries Service, along with the coastal states uh, fisheries folks, are really trying to mitigate and minimize the impact on the, both the recreational and the commercial fishermen. And they're trying to do the best they can to analyze what's available out there, keeping people informed of what fisheries are open and wh where they can commercially and recreational fi recreationally fish as we deal with uh, the impacts of this oil spill. And we will keep you apprised of that uh, to mitigate the impact. And we obviously are very committed to, um, to, to coming to a conclusion on this, to bringing this to resolution, because we, we really do recognize and we will not rest uh, because we know how much the American people and the Gulf Coast residents rely on us for this, uh, for, for, to bring this to closure. Thank you. Thanks, Secretary Salazar and uh, Admiral Landry. Um, I just uh, completed about an hour and a half ago, spending about an one and a half hours flying over the scene, and I thought the first thing I'd do is share my observations. It appears that the application of the subsea dispersant is actually working. The oil in the immediate vicinity of the well and the, uh, the ships and rigs working in the area is diminished from previous observations. In addition, our efforts, as the Admiral's already referenced, to fight this offshore appear to be working. There is oil on the sea. It is quite dispersed across the region and across the area shown on the map here on the right. And uh, we're 23 days since the rig sank and the release began. And thankfully, we've had very little impact to shore, uh, partly due to our efforts and undoubtedly partly due to Mother Nature's. Um, as the Secretary previously mentioned, we're in the process of running the riser insertion tube. This is the method to contain the flow. This doesn't stop the flow, but it contains the flow. We hope to have that, uh, that tool inserted by sometime late tonight. It's back on the seabed. We did have to pull it back to surface yesterday to make some adjustments so that we could connect it properly to the, the pipe work that connects it to the ship. But we expect to, uh, to begin operation of that equipment overnight tonight. The relief well activity continues. The development driller, the Discover Driller 3, the DD3 rig, which is drilling the first relief well, is on day 13 now. We're currently running the riser and the blowout preventer and we'll be completing the last of the tests on that and should resume drilling over the next two days. And the development driller 2, the DD2 rig, which will start the second relief well, should spud or begin its drilling activity uh, tomorrow. As the Admiral's already mentioned, the weather plays an important part in our ability to, to combat this spill, particularly offshore. Uh, currently, unfortunately, the weather is not conducive to skimming or burning operations, but we expect that to change over the next day or so and allow us to use all of our tools uh, over the balance of next week. And lastly, I just mentioned that we, we continue to have a massive response underway. Over 17,000 people are now working on this effort. We've deployed now over 1.2 million feet of boom. We have somewhere around 38 aircraft working, 650 vessels. So it's a massive effort involving uh, four states, members of the government, uh, BP individuals, and uh, numerous, numerous contractors. And I'd just like to extend my thanks to all of those people whose efforts are making, uh, making us have some success. Thank you.